This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT SME Nation. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today, the Church celebrates the Feast of the Candelaria. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, forty days have passed since we celebrated the joyful feast of the Nativity of the Lord. Today is the blessed day when Jesus was presented in the temple by Mary and by Joseph. Prompted by the Holy Spirit, Simeon and Anna came to the temple. Enlightened by the same Spirit, they recognized the Lord and confessed Him with exaltation. So let us also gather together by the Holy Spirit, proceed to the house of God to encounter Christ. There we shall find Him and recognize Him in the breaking of the bread until He comes again revealed in glory. Let us now pray. Raise your candles. O God, true light, who created light eternal, spreading it far and wide, pour, we pray, into the hearts of the faithful the brilliance of perpetual light, so that all who are brightened in your holy temple by the splendor of these candles may happily reach the light of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now light the candles we have here, symbolizing that we receive from Christ to His light, the light of our faith and the light of His love. Brothers and sisters, let us go in peace to meet the Lord. Claiming the mercy of this God, we now together with the whole church declare glory to God in the highest. Oh 
Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the Liturgy of the Word. The prophet Malachi proclaims the day when the Lord will come to the temple. A messenger will be sent to prepare the people for their meeting with the Lord. Our first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts, but who will endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In Jesus Christ, the Lord comes to us in human form, like us in every way, that he may become our merciful intercessor before God. Our second reading. A reading from the book of the prophet... Ma A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. 
Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is the devil, and free those who through fear of death had been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God, to expiate the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested through what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise to give glory and honor to the Holy Gospel. of revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took up Jesus to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Just as it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in, the, in sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles in glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed him and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and the rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess Anna, by the, da the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worship night and day with, with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law, they returned to Galilee in their, to, to their town of Nazareth, and the child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom and the favor of God was upon him. 
Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is not very often that the Feast of the Candelaria falls on a Sunday. And today the church rejoices with Mary for the gift of the child who is light to all the peoples. Brothers and sisters, actually, apat ang pangalan ng piyestang ito. Depende sa kung saan ka galing. Sabi ng iba, today is the day of the purification of Mary. Why? Because according to the law of Moses in the book of the Leviticus, ang isang babaeng nanganak after 40 days has to go into the temple to be prayed over that so she may be purified. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Kasi sa kanilang paniliwala, when a woman delivers and she goes, she, she, she brings out a lot of blood, blood makes her impure. And so she needs the purification, which can only happen 40 days after the birth of the child. Today is the Feast of Mary's Purification. But they also say that this is the Feast of the Purification of the Temple. Because Jesus, for the first time, enters into His Temple to purify it and make it pleasing to God. Pero may mga nagsasabi that today is actually also the Feast of the Presentation. Bakit? Kasi ayon din naman sa batas, the first child in the book of Exodus belongs to God. Yung unang magbubukas ng womb ng mother, the firstborn, is hindi sa pamilya. That child belongs to God because that is exactly what happened sa mga sinasabing uh, anak ng mga taga Egypto. And so even as they belong to God, kailang mabawi na mga magulang. And according to the law, they are supposed to go to the temple, present the child, and together with the child, yung pambawi. Ano yun? Five shekels. Kung hindi nila kaya, turtle doves or young pigeons. O kung medyo may kakayahan, isang lamb ang pambawi mo sa anak so that you can bring home the child and take care of him for your, for your family. Today, Jesus is presented to the temple. And truly, God enters into His temple. Pero sabi naman ng mga Griego, today is the day with the, which they call <clears throat> the encounter. Why? Sapagkat this is the day when the people of God who had been long waiting for the coming of this promised Savior will finally see Him. And this will be presented, represented by two people, si Simeon at si Anna, who rejoiced na finally God, after the longest wait, fulfills His promise to Israel. And Israel sees its Savior. Kaya this is the encounter, the meeting. Ayun naman kay St. Paul. Today is the Feast of the Candelaria. Because Jesus is presented to the world as the light in our darkness. As the one who shakes the world out of its darkness and brings it into the light. Pero hindi ordinaryong light. Hindi ordinaryong kandila. Hindi ordinaryong tanglaw. Jesus is presented as the revealing light. Anong ibig sabihin yun? Ang ilaw na magpapakita sa atin at magpapamalas at magtuturo kung ano ang katotohanan at kung ano ang hindi totoo. He will tell us what is true he will tell us also what is not true. The one that reveals the realities of things. Para ang bibigat na mga pinag-uusapan natin, Father, para sa atin ba, anong epekto, ano ba ang message nitong ating ipinagdiriwang? Number one, para sa akin, ito yun. Alam nyo sa totoo lang, every child is a gift from God. Every child is a gift from God. Kaya every time dumadaan ako riyan sa sinasabing uh, show boulevard, talagang tinitingal at tinahanap ko yun. Kasi para sa mga iba sa Amerika, 
Pag iyay aking kaparte ng katawan, sinasabi nila, No, no, the child is mine. It belongs to me. And I can decide what I want with this child. Kung gusto kong ipa-abort, choice ko yun. Kung gusto kong tapusin itong buhay na to, choice ko pa rin yun. That beautiful, beautiful poster there tells us about Jesus holding a child and declaring, This is not a choice. This is a child. For every child is a gift. And truly, maganda sa mga magulang na ang kanilang mga anak dinadala sa simbahan and are presented to God as we thank Him for the gift of your children. That's a beautiful reminder today that thank God for the child that are given, the children, the children that are given to you because they truly are gifts from the God of love. Pangalawa, even as the Lord comes into the temple, sa kasimplihan ng pananamit ni Maria at ni Jose, sa kasimplihan ng kanilang pamumuhay, in that so humble an atmosphere, dalawa recognized that in that simple child of Mary and Joseph, is the awaited one of Israel. Paano na-recognize ni Simeon at ni Anna na ito na nga ang pangako, na ito na nga ang tagapagligtas, na ito na nga ang Mesiya, na ito na nga si Christos, the anointed one. It is because for the longest time too, they waited for Him in prayer and in fasting. Mahalaga ang pagdarasal. Mahalaga ang moments of silence because sabi nga nila, it is in silence that you can feel Jesus passing by. It is in silence that you can hear the Spirit tell you what is right and what is not right. Importante ang malahimik. Importante din to remove every now and then the voices that dictate upon us from the, the voices of the world. It is important every now and then that we have our moments of silence. Alam niyo po, lahat daw ng Kristiyano should find his moment with God. Tuwang-tuwa ako sapagkat may mga pinagmimisahan ho akong mga lugar kung saan people go much, much earlier than the mass schedule. Why? They will have to have their silent encounter with God. Tuwang-tuwa din ako that after the mass, people stay put. Nakatapos na ng misa, isang oras na yun. They still stay put. Because they have to have their personal encounter with God. You know what? Precisely in those moments when we are silent, that God speaks very loudly to us. Third, sa araw na ito, as we will light and as we will bless and later light our candles, we are reminded that in our lives, Jesus truly is the light we should follow. Alam yun ba? na ang kapistahan of the encounter of Anna and Simeon with Mary and Joseph, itong eksenang napakaganda when light is revealed to the nations is also included in the eight sorrows of the Blessed Virgin. Kasama to sa sinasabing when they, when they had to leave Israel and go to Egypt as refugees. Kasama ito sa mga grupo ng mga pait at dusa sa buhay ni Maria when he had to bury her son in a borrowed tomb. Kasama ito when they were told, you know, that, 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 that Jesus is to be crucified and Mary looked at her dying son and received that dying son into her arms. Bakit? Bakit isinama to? Because of the words of the prophet Simeon. As he took the child into his arms and declared, Wow! Eto na God is a faithful God. I can die because mataga ko inantay to. And the Lord has promised that I will not die until I see this promise come true. The salvation of Israel ang dito na ang kaligtasan. But as he looked at Mary, he had these painful words to say, Maria, a sword will pierce your heart. Alam mo kung bakit? Kasi itong anak mo, na ibinibigay ba din kaligtasan, He will be the cause of the fall and the rise of many in Israel. Anong ibig sabihin? Sa kabila ng siya na nga, hindi siya tatanggapin ng marami. Sa 
kabila na siya ng ang liwanag, people would prefer darkness rather than light. Sa kabila ng totoo siya ng kaligtasan, people will say, hindi namin kailangan ang kaligtasan iyong ibibigay. And Mary is pained by that. My Christ, my Son, the promised Yeshua, the God who saves, tatalikuran, tatanggihan, hindi kikilalanin ng napakarami pang iba. Today, we are asked to have our candles blessed. Today, we are asked to bring home our candles. And tonight, I would like to suggest that you light one of those candles and ask God, Lord, into my family, come and be light. Into the home of my heart, come and be my guide. Into the world of darkness, come and shatter the darkness with your light. Revealing light, yun ang sinasabi. Alam niyo mga kapatid, sometimes mahirap tanggapin ang katotohanan. Pero mahalaga, because accepting the light will make us see what is true. And only the truth will set us free. May pari po kami, kinikwento namin sa inyo. Talagang kung bakit sa kabila ng siya medyo bata pa, numipis ng numipis ang kanyang buhok. Hanggang sa ang huli, ang buhok niya, naging shaggy na lang. Siya gilid na lamang. E talagang ayaw niya magbukhang matanda. Ayaw niya tanggapin na totoo. Mas konti ang buhok niya kaysa sa tatay niya. And so talagang napakahalaga sa kanya na pag siya ay nagbimisa, ang ginawa niya, pinahaba niya yung sa kaliwa, isinampa, papuntang kanan. Kaya kung siya ay nagbimisa, napaka-strategic kung nasaan ang electric fan. Kasi pag ang electrified nasa kanan at napalakas, biglang long hair siya rito sa kabila. Dito sa kabila, wala. For the longest time, aayusin niya yung buhok niya. For the longest time, he will have to check where the electric fan is. For the longest time, wala siyang ginawa. Kundi habang nagmimisa, ayos ng ayos ng buhok. Finally, he decided to take a look at the truth and realized, ay wala naman ako magagawa rito. Alam mo ginawa niya? pinaputol niya ang long hair. At ngayon, kalbo siya. Pero ang sabi niya, masarap din pala. Maganda din pala. Hindi na ako kailangang kumuha ng pumada. Hindi rin ako masyado nagpapagupit. Pwedeng ako na. Maganda din naman pala to see that there are some things you cannot do much about and have to accept. But there are some things that you have to do much in order for the truth to be revealed. Katulad nito, Basang-basa tayo. Three million daw ang hits ng problema ni Bong at ni Dedenis. Kung hindi kayo updated, hindi kayo nagbabasa. Pero ang tanong, sino ang nagsasabi ng katotohanan? And even as one party accuses the other of another, alam mo ang labas niyan, isa sa kanila ang hindi nagsasabi ng totoo. And even as that person does not tell the truth, ang gagawin niya, laalakihan pa ang butas, dadami pa ang mga pagsisinungaling in order to cover up that which is true. Today's feast invites us, come into the light. Be set free by the truth. Accept your realities. For only when you accept who you are, can you be what God wants you to be. Today and this feast, We ask Jesus, come, be light in our darkness. Amen. Tayo po yung magsitayo. I believe in one God. Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him, all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, today our Savior was presented in the temple and revealed as light to the nations. Let us thank the Father as we adore His Son and as we pray, Lord, in your love, hear us. Lord, in your love, hear us. Lord, in, our, in, in obedience to the law, you were presented to your Father in the temple. May Christian parents follow the example of Joseph and Mary, who revere God and are faithful to religious traditions. We pray. Lord, Lord in your Lord, love, hear, hear us. us. Lord, you comforted Simeon and Anna in their old age. Console the elderly among us and make us respect and honor them, we pray. Lord, in your love, hear us. Lord, you came to the temple as a little child, even though you are the Lord of glory. Help us to remain humble and defeat the weak, the poor, and the downtrodden, we pray. Lord, in your love, hear us. Lord, you were a sign that would be opposed, and this would pierce your mother's heart. Strengthen us to accept the trials and sufferings which we endure for the sake of your name, we pray. Lord, in your love, hear us. Lord, Simeon longed to see you before he died. Welcome to your kingdom, our departed brothers and sisters, who still yearn to see you face to face. We pray. Lord, in your love, hear us. We pray for the healing touch of the Lord upon Isa Tobias, Nancy Reyes, and upon Omar Riantaso, and the family, and Jay the wife, and the rest of all the God's sick people, that truly in Jesus they may find consolation and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your love, hear us. Father, Christ your Son became man that he might lead us to you. As we celebrate this presentation to you, we offer our humble petitions and ask him to bring us to your presence through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please remain standing while the big gifts are being presented.
all stand. Pray may the friends that your sacrifice in mine be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the offering made with exultation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray. For you will that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world as the Lamb without blemish, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. That is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and light of the nations. And so we too go forth rejoicing to encounter your salvation and with the angels and saints praise you as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, with Luis Antonio, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through Him, with Him, and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. We pray to the Father in heaven that we will always live as people of the light, that we will shun darkness, that we will always be people who will live by the examples of Christ. We pray the Our Father. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Bless one another with the gift of Christ. Peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
Behold Him now, the light to the nations, the God who comes to shatter the darkness of our lives. This is the God who saves. Happy are we who come to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. bring eternal life to us who receive Him. Amen. For those of you who are unable to receive Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters who are joining us in this TV Mass, we invite you to pray with us this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Tayo po'y manalangin. By these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us. And as you fulfilled Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we, going forth to meet the Lord, obtain the gift 
of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. People can prefer darkness rather than light. But Jesus invites us to come to the light, to accept Him as the light of our lives. For we know we belong to God and we are His children. Let's ask Him today to come. Come, light of the world, Jesus. Come, shatter our darkness, Jesus. Come, get us out of the darkness of our sins, of our weakness, of our lies, that we may see the truth revealed to us in you, O oh Jesus, the God who saves. Jesus, come bring your healing to the sick, to those who are losing hope, to the desperate, to those who feel that they have nothing except you, their God. Jesus, with their comfort, with their consolation, with their guide. As you open your heart now, welcome Him. Jesus, come into my heart. Cleanse me of everything that displeases the Father. Remove from me the fear of the truth that I may live in freedom, that I may walk in the path of goodness, that I may tread the ways of the righteous. Jesus, Lord, sa araw na ito, we bless the whole Philippines. As may we present you to be light, may we accept you as the light of the nations, as the light of our peoples. Bless our leaders, our politicians. Bless those who are servants of the people. That they may walk in the path of righteousness and of light. Jesus, light in our darkness, come, save us, have mercy on us, in you we trust. We have prayed in your Son's name, to Mary's intercession, may we constantly walk in the path of goodness. This is our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace and love of the Lord. Thanks be to After God. After this, we shall bless your candles.